I'm trying to find somewhere not too windy, but with a nice background, to announce the challenge that I'm doing for August 2022. So it's the 1st of August today, and every day in August, I'm going to recite Pi from memory whilst juggling. So later today, I will do page one, which is 104 digits. And then tomorrow I'll do the rest of the digits that adds up to 200, so 96 digits tomorrow. So every two days we get 200 digits. Just because of the way my memory palace works, you've got 25... Maybe I'll just superimpose this on here. It's superimpo I'll, I'll put a, a pop-up. So with my memory palace, you've got 25 stops, so it can't really be divided neatly into two. So I do A to M for the uh, odd pages, like page one, and then I do N to Y for the even pages. So then page one and two adds up to 200 digits of pi because there's eight digits per line because I memorize the digits in pairs. So I've got a system for every pair of numbers from zero, zero to 99. And then I take the first pair of numbers, so it's after the decimal point, so 3 point, and then 1, 4 is RD, so I take that as a pair and use a person with those initials, so roll doll. Then 1, 5, I turn that into letters, R again because it's 1, uh, but instead of D, it's so 5 is P. It would be E, but we don't use vowels, so it's P, like P-E at school. I remember that P is the same as E for the sake of uh, each number corresponding to that letter in the alphabet. So 1-5 is R-P, ripping. So you got rolled all ripping, because we use an action for the second two digits. Then an adjective for the next two, which is N-B, so nimble. So you, you, you use the two main letters and then fill it with vowels or letters that aren't involved so that the main sounds that you think of correspond to the numbers. So nimble, we don't use an M, so the M in nimble we ignore, and the L as well, and then the rest is vowels. Uh, so you've got the adjective there for that pair, and then an object for the final pair, so six is F, and then number five again is P, so fireman's pole. Uh, sometimes I use these compound nouns, um, or adjectives, where it's the first letter of each of the words, like newspaper might be 95, or fireman's pole is 65. So that's how I do it. So I want to challenge myself to get through the 3,141 digits of pi, because that's what I've been practicing doing for quite a while now. So day 31 will take us to 3,100, and I'll probably just tag the 41 onto that, or just go an extra day. So it's 200 digits every two days. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe so you don't miss a video each day. And if I get to a thousand subscribers, then I think that on the final day I can live stream it. I don't think you can live stream unless you've got at least a thousand subscribers. So even if you're not going to watch every day, I would really appreciate if you subscribed because it will allow me to do a live stream for the final day, which I think would be quite good fun. Also, if you want to sponsor the video in any way, then I would be happy to juggle outside your business if you're local. So I live in the southwest of the UK, in Devon. So if you run a business in Devon or nearby, or you want to pay my expenses to get there, then I can juggle outside your business. Or if you've got anything you're selling, like artwork or a book or something, then I can put it in the background so I could prop up a book or... Um, if you do something creative that you sell, I could put that in the background and then leave a link in the description and I'll mention it at the end of the video that day. So let's just check the sound. I should have checked the sound sooner because I haven't got a microphone with me. As well as subscribing, I would really appreciate it if you shared the video directly with people who you think might be interested in any way with this sort of challenge. All right, thanks very much. I'll see you later today and then every day this month.